Hi, it's me again with Corodro Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook and wanted to know how to remove the background, the white background. The font isn't going to trace very well, and it's going to be a lot of work, and there's a lot of uh, blurring. And you wouldn't be happy if you took away the, the white background. So what I'm suggesting is just to retype the text. Now, I didn't take any time to get a perfect font, uh, so you could do that right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with this selected, it needs to be selected. So when you crop it, you won't have my other thing disappear. And even though we're getting a little bit of that, we're good. So I'm going to go crop. Now I'm going to go to object group. Well, I guess I'm going to have to trace it anyway. Okay, we'll trace it. So now it's, it's pretty little. I'm going to go trace bitmap outline trace clip art. And I'm going to say okay, and I'm going to nudge that over. Now this is a terrible version of that. You can see it's really pixelized, but because it's trace, we can go up to object group and ungroup it, and then we can get rid of these parts of the letter. Now, I have to come off my yellow to do this. I'm gonna go put a boundary around it. And you see that the, the, the trace has kind of messed up that little area of the sun. So what I would suggest is just forget it and just take a two point line and go from that edge to that edge. We're only gonna use the inside so we can get the virtual sigma delete key and delete that inside part. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna move my yellow box over so it doesn't interfere. I'm gonna get my smart fill tool. I'm gonna to set it on a, say a dark blue and I'm gonna fill that in and look, we got a new shape of the books. So take it back over to the original with your pick tool, select both of them and go intersect. Now you have a picture is equally as good as what you had, but it's, uh, and it's a little rough on the edges. I would maybe uh, take some nodes out. Um, very easily done. You could just select all those nodes and hit delete. And you could do a little bit of more work than I'm going to do on it. And then you'd want to, uh, let's just take out a few more nodes, but then I'm going to select that one. Shift select this one, and then right click and turn it into a line. And that gave us a good solid book line. Shift select both nodes, right click, turn it into a line. Then just take your text and copy it. Um, you know, you could quite possibly pick a font that was closer to the original. Um, I was just going to kind of show, let's just do the one word. And I just used brush grip. You have to click off of it sometimes to get that to work. And then if you want it to be that color, and really that's, well, I was going to say that's close to what it was, but that's mine. And then if you want that, let's bring that book back, the original the original drawing. Well, I kind of messed up there. Let's go, let's go forward. This is a good little trick, go move. And there's our original. So let's control C to make a copy of it. And then we can go back as far as we want. We can go back to maybe, um, And see how far that goes back. No, still need to go back further. It's when I crop that letter out. But the reason I uh, made a copy because now I can paste it in here. And there's my order. And then just pick a font. And then, once again, this is just my suggestions. Um, and you could probably pick a, pick a font. Um, 
you know, I just, I didn't even do any look. I just, I just took, uh, took the brush grip. Then make it about the size you want. And if you wanted that color, you could still grab the color off that. You know, if you happen to like that color, just go to your smart fill tool, get your paintbrush or your eyedropper, sorry, and get that color and just fill that in and make it that color. Anyway, if you picked a font close to that, I think you'd be a lot happier and longer. I don't know if they're printing this or what they're doing. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.